povu
this we pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Nase ma sanche, kwa we ma waku. Nase ma sanche, kwa guvu zaku. Mama natili, zaku zadumu. Milele na milele, amen. 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 Shortly, I believe, reading through the eulogy, celebration of a life of my brother, my friend, and my uncle, Kadu. I read, the late Stephen Matendechere Malala was born to the late Mze Joseph Malala Omhunya, and the late Melissa Anyonje Malala in 1962 in Musanda village, Mumia's division, then Kakamega province. He was the fifth of the eight children, namely Ruth Matalanga, Teresa Ochieng, the late Refa Atea, Rebman Malala, Victoria Obonyo, the late Rogers Handa, Rael Andala, and the late Roda Omkoko. Amen. Amen. He started his education at Musanda Primary School where he completed certificate of primary education before joining Musanda Secondary School for East Africa Certificate of Education. He later on proceeded to college to study motor vehicle mechanics. Stephen was a highly trained mechanic employed by the Ministry of Defense and posted at Kahawa Barracks where he worked for many years. Upon his request, he was transferred to Eldoret to be near home to take care of his father, Muse Joseph, after the passing of the family matriarch, Mama Melissa, in 1993. Stephen was baptized as a child at Musanda SEK Church and remained an active member of the church. Amen. Amen. Talking about his marriage, Stephen met Beatrice Consolo, the love of his life, and they got married under customary law. They were blessed with six children, Willis, Hilary, Melissa, Pius, Celestine, and Edmond. He leaves behind four grandchildren. What a blessing. Amen. 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 Say amen to that. Amen. Talking about his failing health, Stephen enjoyed good health throughout his life until 2019. First, it seemed like a simple irritation in the throat, then a persistent cough, sore throat and difficulty swallowing that did not seem to relent even after various visits to the hospital and lab tests. Intuition prompted Stephen's wife, Beatrice, to insist that he get further checkups in Nairobi. After various tests, Stephen was handed a diagnosis of throat cancer in May 2019. Stephen took the news of his illness in his stride with courage and fortitude. His brother, Redman Malala, and Stephen's sister-in-law, Florence Malala, worked tirelessly to ensure that Stephen got the best medical care available. Several rounds of chemotherapy and radiation were recommended and commenced immediately. The chemotherapy and radiation were unforgiving and brutal, with each round taking away a little bit of the Stephen we knew. But Stephen endured it with dignity and grace. He never complained once or showed any signs of fatalism. For two years, there seemed to be a lull, and there was optimism that Stephen had beaten the cancer. But it was not to be. As routine tests in July 2021 showed that the cancer was back and it was more brutal and aggressive. The treatment options were limited, as he was already frail, having been battered by the previous rounds of chemotherapy. Stephen received the best care available, and he fought the battle like a gallant soldier, but God, in his wisdom, had other plans. On 18th August 2022, surrounded by family, the Lord called Stephen to rest. Hallelujah. Amen. And now, hear the icing of the cake of his life. 
salvation. Amen? Somewhere else we call it fall back. The life hereafter. God honored and appreciated the place of God in his life, having been brought up by a staunch and practicing Christian mother. In November 2021, while admitted at the Nairobi Hospital, he confessed his sins unto God and accepted Christ as his personal savior by being led into salvation by his nephew Isaac Matalanga in the presence of his family. We thank the doctors and nurses who attended to him at the Nairobi Hospital. Go El Kadu, rest with the angels until we meet again. You fought a good fight, you won the race, and you kept the faith. Rest with the angels until we meet again. Uh, church, I'll admonish us with just two scriptures. Jesus speaking in John 14 and 2 says this, In my Father's house there are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. If I go to prepare a place for you, I will return and bring you back to myself. That, that where I will be, you will also be there. I ask you, do you have a mansion in heaven? Do you have a mansion in heaven? Because Revelation 22.12 says, God speaking, Behold, I return speedily, and my reward is with me, to give each according to their works. Jesus is Lord. We are all blessed. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord, Lord again. again. My, my name is Willis Malala. I'm, I'm the son to Stephen, the late. And before I say something else, I want to thank you all for coming here to be with the family. Okay, I'm going to read the I'm going to say a tribute as one of his children. Dear Dad, we cannot believe you are writing a tribute following your promotion to heaven. Sorry about that. Let me start again. Dear Dad, we cannot believe you are writing a tribute following your promotion to heaven. Despite watching your health deteriorate, the last few months, we really hoped you would pull through as you had done several times before. You are humble, patient, and loved your family dearly. Your loss leaves a big hole in our hearts, and we thank you for the years of friendship, sound and wise counsel. We will miss you, Dad. Thank you. My name, as you have heard, is Reverend Malala. I'm a brother to the late Stephen Malala. Uh, Malala, the late, was born in Musanda. But me and my follower were born in Mwanza, Tanzania. Malala was born, Stephen Malala was born after he'd come back to Musanda. We grew up with him when I was in primary school. After I left primary school, we continued interacting during holidays. Stephen was a very respectable person. He respected me so much. And now he leaves me alone. We were born three sons. One died earlier in 1964. Stephen has followed. I also have sisters. They are four living and three died. Two of them, I think I, I never saw them. They were way ahead of me. I am now left alone. 
I want just to lift uh, the tribute I have written, which I just quickly read. It captures a bit of my relationship with my late brother. Uh, I said, when my brother Kadu told me one day that he was going to leave his job in the civil service, I asked him why. He replied that he wanted to go and do business. For a young Mulia person, this sounded strange. But he left, and as, as, as he was trying his best in business, our parents were aging and ailing. It turned out that the first business he was going to do was to look after our parents. Later on in life, because I was outside, I turned him into what I've described here as an errand boy. And because he was a faithful person, other people also were relying on him to run errands. However, because he had told me he wanted to go and do business, I encouraged him. And I also tried to, like uh, all of us from Western, whatever work you do, you always want to do something on the farm. I bought a few farms and engaged my brother, not as an employee, but as a partner. He did very well for me by looking after whatever we were farming. And as I joked in this uh, tribute, one, one time, time I found that I had planted eucalyptus trees as an investment because it can be considered a cash crop. But my brother turned it into, he didn't want to because eucalyptus takes a long time to grow. So, he wanted to only plant the maize, which is a subsistence crop anyway. For the first time, that's the only time I had it. I quarreled with him. And that was the first and the last. I bring up the story of those trees because as a partner, we started benefiting from those trees, from the products of those trees, while we were still living. And I want to say that the widow he has left and the children he has left will continue enjoying the benefits of the trees that we planted with him. Kadu was a very honest person. Kadu was very firm in his dealings with the people. He was like some of my relatives who are straight and they'll tell you where you are wrong. And like some of us who may pretend for good, what we consider good relationship with people. Kadu was what I would describe as my protector of sorts. Because in our families and communities, we have many people who may want assistance here and there, but most of them you'll find they are conmen. Kadu would, in situations like that, when they approach him, he just tells them off. Kadu would even dismiss those he considers not honest. He'll dismiss and he'll never tell me until I meet those people later. 
That's when I come to know. To me, in that protectionism, he was a very good friend. And that's why I want to promise that I look after his children and they should consider themselves my sons and daughters. Let me take this opportunity now to thank those who have assisted us, those that I may not see at home. I have had very, we have had a lot of assistance both from this church, other places, my friends, the committee, and I want to thank the, the caregivers, health caregivers, Dr. Anderitu, and I also want to extend my gratitude to my wife, Lawrence, for the work she has done over the years in trying to ensure my brother is taken care of. At uh, some stage, we knew that my brother was going. But Florent made sure that all the attention that is required to send him off quietly and softly was given. Thank you very much. Members of the bereaved family, relatives and friends, good morning. Good morning, good morning again. Good morning. Thank you for joining us this morning to mourn our dear friend. My name is Victoria Obonyo, sister to Stephen Malala. I'll read my tribute. Stephen Malala was not only a brother to me, he was a dear friend with whom we shared a lot. We consulted a lot. We did a lot of things together. We went to the same school, both primary and secondary. He was behind me. He was good in history. I was good in mathematics. So he taught me history, and I taught him mathematics. As, as kids growing together, we played, we fought, we laughed and even cried. But one may wonder, how did you cry together? Or why did you cry? As children, we were beaten by parents whenever we did wrong, and we cried together. When we lost our dear parents at different times, we cried. And when we lost our dear sister Rhoda, we cried together. He was a caring and loving brother. He was my teacher advisor and director. He was there for me whenever I needed guidance. I have lost. Steve was the organizer, planner, caretaker of the Malala family. He was generous. He was a generous person and foster father to many people. He was a mediator and a peacemaker in the family. We looked up to him we have lost as a family. He was a, story, a storyteller, comedian in his own little style. I think if Stephen was born today, where comedy is a business, he would have been one of the comedians for a living. Rest in peace, just think of you as resting from pain, sorrows, tears, and hatred of this world. You are at a better place. You will never suffer. Let me also take this opportunity to thank my brother, Raymond. You stood with your brother. You did more than enough. You couldn't have done better than that. You did what was humanly possible. But God had the final say. Mlamwa Florence. Thank you so, 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 so much. You are Steve's doctor. You are more than a doctor to him, more than a mother to him. Continue being good, doing good, and God will reward you in return. 
Thank you so much. My brother-in-law, Stephen, I have asked myself and talked to God, how could he take you away from us? But then I said that you are in a better place, that all of us will meet some time later, a place where there is no pain, indeed there is no pain. We loved you, but God loved you most. You loved me as a sister-in-law, as a second mother, as a friend, and a confidant. You were full of advice, full of laughter. Sometimes you acted like a com comedian, as you have heard, and indeed he was. You were open in your discussion and advised your nephews and nieces, and they will really miss that. I got to know a lot about Musanda because of you. You knew your grandfather, Omhunya. He would talk a lot about Omhunya and pass the story about Omhunya, his grandfather, to his nephews and nieces. And you passed on the stories to everybody. You are in God's hand now as he planned. Rest in peace. Thank you. Salimi wote hamjambo Hamjambo tena Kwa majina naitwa Beatrice Konzolo Malala Alia Lala Ni mwume wangu Itasoma tributi yangu kwa ke The moment that you left me My heart was split into two One side we filled with the memories the other side died with you. You are the bravest and the most courageous I knew. Even when you were in pain, you wouldn't hide it so. As not to worry. Me and the kids. Most of the time, I got to know of your pain through my intuition. You are selfless and allowed each of our kids exclusively and made them feel special. You gave me all I asked, and that was within your power, both in cash and in kind. I watched you suffer. I saw you die, but all I could, not, I could do was sit by hoping somehow you will walk up and embarrass me, even if it meant for the last time. God is to you. God is to your pain, but broke my heart. It is well, for I knew he broke our hearts to, bro to prove us that he only takes the best. Praise God. Amen. Praise God once more. Amen. Okay, my name is Irene, Evangelist Irene Saka from Miasu Diocese, Msanda Chidikonari, Msanda Parish, Msanda Church. As I stand here, I'm representing our church from Msanda. Praise God. Uh, I just have a word to say to our friend Stephen. Kadu was our friend and we loved him. Kadu was a Christian in our church in Sanda. He has been very supportive and we all liked him with his family. To my family, Kadu was a family friend.
Praise God. Amen. Gracious Master, our Abba Father, we humble before your presence. We are gathered here, Lord, celebrating the life of our brother Stephen. If our living God you knew a day like this, Lord, we shall gather and praise your name for your doing. Might and a living God, we need thee. We need your comfort. We need your peace, Lord. Ever living God, as you share with us, may this word be a source of comfort to this family. And this we pray in Jesus' name. We may take our seat. We will have a few minutes for the word of God. I know the time is far gone. But we need the word of God. The word of God is our strength. I'm Leverett Ledson Como, born again this morning. By the grace of the Lord, I'm uh, the priest of this church, St. A.C.K., St. Matthew's, Karen Hadi. We are in the Diocese of Nairobi. And we are happy that this family, our great members, and we pray that God will continue to bless you and to comfort you. I met Stephen through the invitation of my brother and my sister, Redman and uh, Florence, and we had a great fellowship together. And I can remember that he had a very good time sharing, pouring his heart. And I know our brother is lasting with his maker, Bona Pesifa. Death is not an easy thing. It was not easy even to our Lord Jesus. You remember the story of Lazarus. But the beauty is that Jesus came, and you know, after three and a half years, he is now a high priest seated in the light heart of the Father. He prayed for you and for me. But the goodness with our Father in heaven, our high priest, is that he has gone in everything. He know he stayed, he tasted death. In fact, his own death. And he resurrected. And the beauty is that after him tasting the death, he is seated with the Father in heaven. That's why the Bible says in, uh, in the book of Hebrews chapter 4, that we have a high priest who is able to sympathize with us. Why? Because he has gone through everything without sin. And he encourages us in those verses that we need to go in his throne with confidence so that we can be able to obtain mercy and grace to help us in time of need. And this moment I'm praying for this family that God will grant you mercy and grace and merited favor so that you can be able to overcome this. We know death is painful, death is final. No one has gone and come back, including Jesus Christ. But now, what we know is that there is a place that He is preparing for each and every one of us. Bona Iswa Pesifa. I want to share a few points here from the book of Haggai, chapter 2. And I know it will be a blessing to you, it will be a blessing to me. It will enable you. To read this brother list. Also, it will be able to help us always to keep the good memories, as Sarah has mentioned. And it will help us how to deal with the issues, probably, that doesn't encourage us. Now, when death strikes, it brings disappointment. It brings disappointment. But the beauty is that when we look up we are able to pour our grievances, we are able to pour our, 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 our disappointment to our Father. Now, the chapter 2 of Haggai, I will not read because of time. This book was written by the minor prophet Haggai. And Haggai was laced up for one purpose. To go to the remnant, the remnant who were able to witness the house of the Lord been brought down. And the remnant we are talking about in the book of Haggai chapter 2, they had been mourning 
for more than 60 years. Since the house of the Lord was brought down, to this time that Haggai is prophesying, it was 60 years. And God looked at these people and he had a mercy upon them. And he raised a prophet specifically to go and encourage this remnant. Without Christ, you can mourn forever. But with the God, he always come and reveal himself to us that I am the one who created death. Hallelujah. And Adam, through sin, he gave death the power. But because of the faithfulness of our king, of kings, he brought Jesus Christ. And he took away again the sting of death. By the way, death has no sting. It's like a bee without a sting. It's powerless. For those who know Christ, death has no sting, has no, because Jesus came and overcame death. He resurrected. And those who die in Christ, they don't die, they last. Buona Pesifa. Number two, these people, well, they mourned for 60 years because of the things that they remembered. By the way, it's human sometimes to remember the negative things. Are we together? Sometimes these people failed to remember the good things that God did, but they remembered, they became complainers. They murmured. And sometimes we remember our departed loved ones, but sometimes we remember the negative things. God created you and me in chapter two of first, no, chapter one of Genesis, first twenty-seven. Then you read Genesis chapter two, first seven. He gave us this body. He first, first twenty-seven, chapter one, created spirit. Then he gave us this body. God always manifests through this body. Now, when we accomplish the assignment, he normally calls us back. When he calls you back, that spirit, we are left in the body that was created under the sun. The body without the blood of, of God is dead. That's why when God calls us back, the body collapsed, can't talk, can't speak, can't smell. Then where do we take the body? We will normally take the body to where? To the mortuary. And after now, you travel, the only way we can put the body is where? Grave. Six feet. Because body without the bread of Christ is useless. It's good to differentiate because what remains in our mind is the body. Then we forget the smile. We forget the comedy of Stephen. Remember the generosity of him. The way he did quite a lot for members of the family. Yeah, one of the sisters has said he could not let, he could make her know the family members. Let us remember that Stephen who was smiling, was active. This only the body. Are we together? That's very important. Then the number three, why these people mourn for 60 years is the comparison they made. They were comparing the sanctuary that was down with the beautiful sanctuary that Solomon brought up. If you compare the two, you'll be disappointed, is it? So sometimes we compare the body and the Stephen that we knew. It causes disappointment. Kindly, it's a human being sometimes to compare, but always to remember, yes, I can see the body, but Stephen is celebrating with the angels. Hallelujah. Bana Pesifa. And kindly with the humility family. I know it's a journey, but from now, let Stephen last. It will be a journey. Is it? But from now, let the journey start, is it? Let us not mourn forever, but let it the journey start. Then by trusting God, He will cause the healing to happen. 
Number two, they, they were reminded to look up. You see, sometimes when we forget that there is a suffering Lord, things that are happening under the sun, they can really cause a lot of harm to us. But the moment we look up, the moment we recognize there is a supernatural God, there is our creator, there is another home in heaven, then that enables us to heal. It enables us to overcome death. It's, it's not, not easy, but with God, God is possible. Hallelujah. Alone is not easy, but with God it is possible. John 14. Don't let your heart be troubled. 1. Believe in God, our source. Number 2. Believe in Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, who died for us. And number 3. The family. Believe in the Holy Spirit our helper. Gracious Master, we thank you, we honor you for your word. Your word is power. Your word is a two-edged sword. Ever living God, I pray for this word that it will be a seed that will germinate, that will bring forth harvest in the spirit of this family member, in the soul of this family member. Ever living God, I pray for them that you may bless them, that you may uplift them, that you may cover them and hide them at your shadow of your wings. Thank you for speaking to each and every one of us. We bless them, and this we do in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior. And I shall say, Amen. 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 We would like to pray with the family. I request them, they come in front here. In your unending love and mercy for us, you turn the darkness of death into the dawn of new life. Show your compassion to your people in this hollow. Be their leverage and their strength to lift them from the darkness of this grief to the peace and the light of your presence. Your Son, Jesus Christ, by dying for us, conquered death and by rising again, let's toward life. May we then go forward eagerly to meet him, and after our life on earth is over, to be reunited with our brother Stephen, in the land where there will be no death and no sorrow, and where ever tear will be wiped away through Jesus Christ, the conqueror. Mighty Father, we thank you, we honor you. I commit this dear family to you, Lord. For even God, our brother Stephen, that we loved, Lord, you have recalled him back. Our Father, you are faithful. Our Father, you care. You know you, he has left a wife and children, Lord. Brother and sisters, cousins, nephews, nieces, Lord. Who love them so much. Ever living God, you are a provider. I commit them to you. That any time they remember saving Lord, they will be consoled of thee. Ever living God, there is a gap. But Jehovah Father, you care. Any time they visit and miss their dad, when the dear wife miss the husband, when the brother and sisters miss their loved one, Lord, may you always be there for them. May you always uplift them. May you always, Lord Almighty, supply the peace that they need, the strength that they need, Lord. 
the comfort that they need. On their own, they cannot. But with thee, everything is possible. I hide them at your wing of protection, Lord. May they, my Redeemer, dine from your table of provision. In the name of Jesus Christ, may they drink from the liver of your delight. In the name of Jesus Christ, no harm will come even close to them, because they will be well protected of thee. Mighty and a living God, the children will grow up. Under your care, Lord, you'll be with our sister. You'll be able to provide. You'll be my redeemer with the brothers and sisters. They'll be able to assist. The very we go and join them together in the name of Jesus Christ. The journey has just started. Walk together with them. Even after the burial, they need you, Lord. I cover them with the precious blood of Jesus Christ and decree them of our commas. And this we pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you. God keep you and God bless you. And may the peace that transcends all the understanding be upon you now and forevermore. Amen. God is good and all the time. Um, as you've heard, my name is Tony Malala. I'm the son of Redman in Florence, and uh, the late Stephen Malala is my uncle. Um, firstly, I would like just to say something short about uh, my uncle before I move quickly to the vote of thanks. Um, I loved my uncle dearly, like a father, and he loved me like a son. And um, because we are not perfect human beings, Whenever I would fall short of the expectation of my parents, he would always be the person to <clears throat> either correct or to also likewise go and refer to if I needed maybe to go back to my father to speak to him, it would be easier even to approach uh, Uncle Kadu. Um, Uncle was always, uh, as you've heard uh, time and again, he was a comedian, he was funny. And uh, he always told us many stories. Um, we shall mourn you and celebrate you, likewise, until the day that we'll join you. Now let me move to the vote of thanks. First of all, I'd like to thank God for bringing us all here together and for giving us Uncle Kadu for 60 good years. Now, we'd like to express our gratitude to all of you for standing with us during this trying time as we celebrate the life of our father, Grandfather, brother, uncle, and friend to many, Stephen, Malala, and Kokadu. We take note of all those who could not be, be able to be with our family and made phone calls to console us. They sent kind SMS messages, emails, or sent friends to deliver their condolences. We are all very grateful, and thank you very much. We would also like to thank everyone for your generous contributions in kind and in cash. They have truly helped lift a burden off our shoulders. God bless you all abundantly. We would like to thank the doctors and the nurses at Nairobi Hospital ICU, especially, especially Dr. Delitu, an oncologist who has been with my uncle Stephen from 2019 until the time he left us, and Dr. Weru and his team. We appreciate the Komu of St. Matthew Karen, the gracious spirit of the church members, and your kindness throughout his stay here in Karen and being there for us as we cope with our loss. We would also like to thank the following groups. Uh, St. Stephen Jogorod, Mother's Union, thanks for playing with us. St. Matthew's Ladies Group, thank you very much for standing with us. Bina Unstoppable, the Revamped Karen Women Groups, Away and Go Group, Ugenzi Consultant Staff, Karen Plains Arcade Staff and Clients as well, and Karen Neighbors. All WhatsApp groups formed for this purpose of planning and supporting. The friends of Mr. Rebman Malala, who have been coordinated by Mr. Dan Ameo, Moses Mahandia, jo and John Anyona, John Anyona Bukelo, and other mutual friends of Rebman Malala. God bless you all abundantly. We would also like to thank the organizing committees here in Nairobi and in Musanda for all the work they have done. God bless you and reward you. Thank you, Chair Uncle Charles Maloba. Thank you, Betty, Isaac, my sister, Melissa, Marcy, Willie, Thank you very much. I could go on and on, but uh, we, we will be here forever. Um, 
Last but not least, thank you to all the uncles, the aunties, the cousins, and friends for your support. Um, I cannot mention all of you by name. If there was time, I could. Um, God bless you all abundantly. May Uncle Steve Malala rest in peace. So I will conclude by reading a verse, which is Second uh, Corinthians chapter 1, verse 3 to 4. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our troubles, so that we can comfort those in, in any trouble with the comfort we receive, with the comfort we ourselves receive from God. And with that, um, come to the conclusion of our vote of thanks. And um, one thing I can say about the Malala family, of course, there's so many people who've come here and say thank you, but we cannot thank you enough. We shall keep thanking you. And um, we hope that you shall also be blessed in happiness and in sadness. We shall also stand by with you. Thank you. Mungu 
na tunakuomba tunapoanza ibada hii tunapotoka katika nyumba hii Mungu wa Israeli uwe nasi pamoja na Mungu uwafunge mkamba mgumu katika viunoni vyao wale wote ambao ni jamaa ya Stephen nimeomba haya kwa Yesu Kristo aliyemwokozi wetu amen Namshukuru Mungu ya kwamba last evening the Lord Bishop himself was here. Askofu wetu mwenye alikuwa pamoja nasi pamoja na jamii akawaombea na akafundishana nao. The Vicar General pia uh, was here last evening na pia aliwaombea familia. Na leo hii askofu yenda ikawa ameshikika lakini mapadi wanakuja wengi nataka kuwaomba wenye watanena pia wajaribu kufipisha wakijua ya kwamba niko na wakubwa wangu wanakuja na watakapofika yenda ikawa nitasukumwa ili kuwakatisha pia so please be kind to me i will also be very patient with you and so for that matter i invite the mc for the day to coordinate the remaining part of speeches. Lira Peter Matara Eruda Edukongo Lumiwa Mitalamno Ukone Lumano Ahotsa. Thank you. Oleni Bahotsa. Kwa majina naitwa Samuel Baraka, mtoto wa Benson Maloba mwenye amepumzika ni ndugu yangu. Santeni. Habari zenu? Kwa majina naitwa Charles Maloba na aliyepumzika ni ndugu yangu mimi ni kijana wa Benson Maloba Asante sana Bwana asifiwe kwa majina ya Florence Ongae kadun ndugu yetu tena rafiki yangu sana Habari waote mimi ni Rosemary mtoto wa Lubanga huyu ni mfiala wa Hota Bwana asifiwe kwa majina ni Pamela Machimbo mtoto wa Benson Maloba kadun ndugu yangu lakini nina uzuni manake kadua alikuwa mtetezi wetu bakoko tumepoteza sijui ni kijana mgani atakuja kututetea mwenye atajitokeza tena sifiwe kwa majina ni Mary Kalerwa mtoto wa James Nzoberi kaduni ndugu yangu Asante Bwana sifiwe kwa majina naitwa Raila Omhulu mimi mtoto wa Dickson Mtuli mtukulu wa Omukunya kaduni ndugu yangu Steve kwa tukua na yeye pamoja tusumuza grupu yote steam ndiye angekuwa mtu wa mwisho kusumuza alikuwa na we mambo yote ambayo watu tunazungumza baadaye atauliza umalile na yes steam atasema makosa ya fulani wewe ulifanya makosa hivi wakufanya hivi am i correct kila mtu obaliwe fwe ikansa fwe ya sike ya beho bosi beshimiwa ndaka mchesi ya keshtere bose bwana yesu asifiwe balanjire abantu be imanga i family ye imanga ni ihongo no banole muhana na muimanga ndo na rule imanga tawe karibu mubole ko likwa ku mwana ifu mukosuni haleluya bete yitse eh kanisa ama kwa malai mkulundu patri ata bishop ya habao Nda bandu bosa betre okuyukusya masika komwana anjo musiani ndakabashesya keshtere bosa 
ningependa ndugu ndugu na dada zake Beatrice wa Park for Introduction wachungaji please Asanteni team Maragoli kwa wimbo mzuri nataka yeah. uh, jambo wote e, kwa majina naitwa Mdenge Aruka mkana mjai wanga Beatrice Sand Bwana Yesu asifiwe kwa majina ni Ayela Muyaga mimi ndio mkubwa ya hao wengine wote mbarikiwe Bwana Yesu asifiwe kwa majina naitwa Henry Jumba Konzolo dada yangu Beatrice pole sana na wote kwa mpoleni Bwana Yesu asifiwe kwa majina naitwa Mary Gidei Beatrice anafuata mimi kwa mgongo mbarikiwe Sifiwe Fanis Beatrice ni mdogo wangu mbarikiwe wote Bwana asifiwe kwa majina naitwa Margaret Kidaranga sister in law wa Beatrice Beatrice nakwambia ukae mwanamke shujaa na usimamishe boma na Mungu atakuwa pamoja na wewe Bwana asifiwe Bwana Yesu na asifiwe mimi Beatrice Meji nasema pole kwa kupoteza mramu wangu Mungu amweke mahali pema na mbarikiwe Bwana asifiwe. Mimi ni Estela Emenza Wangaiwa. Wao wote ule kijana alisema yeye ndio mkubwa. Na mimi kwa wasichana mimi ndio mkubwa. Mtoto wetu kaa vizuri. Wajane ni wengi. Utakuwa na nguvu na ulinde boma na jamii yote. Ubarikiwe. Ah, uh, mimi naitwa Kidaranga. Uh, Reverend Jairus Kidaranga. Um Steven ni my brother in law tunapendana na yeye sana. E, wakati nikiwa Maragoli nikitaka kujua habari ya Musanda huwa nampigia simu ananipatia updates. Maana mimi nilikuwa mwalimu Musanda miaka ya zamani early 80s. Nikitaka kujua kama nani yako wapi huwa ananipatia updates naongea vizuri. Kwa hiyo nasema poleni sana kwa kumpoteza kijana. E, Dada Beatrice you take heart. Hiyo ni njia yetu sisi sote. Um, Mungu wa amani atawarudia. Mirembe Moshi. Mirembe Mirembe. Mirembe Jamaliga. Senge Pitbis. Utatonya tonya Maliga kandi da. Ilikuza ni ya bandu bosi. Kandi utagosa kwa sabana da. Omanye kukole mu Kenya, ko Kenya nayo. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. Nesi Isaac Matalanga ndo msiano mgomno wa mtiti ndo mwiwa mkupira mwesi orio mno kubweli mwaketo konya nyasae amwesi eti khabi titi mwesi mwende kandi mwende kandi mwende kandi mwende kwa kandi wa kandi Sivi ni abirumana wefue. Ni abirumana wefue kwa wacha mana sana. Kwa manjira vana bakujira dada, kana bachenda anga. Kwa chenda la dada. Kwa vaira dada. Kwa kupana nga vana. Kwa alira. Kwa alira ni fiulire. Kwa sila mnonga na kwa kosi ya veko wefue. Apari wa mama, nile papa, nile mwane siola. Kwa alira la dada. Kwa mwana wefue, ya rari vaisa wanje. Ya rari gaida wanje. Ya mbesea direction. Ama kuwa manji, deka anga kumwana wefwe. Ya rungi za wanji wakaribu sana. Ya manjira anga kila hadi. Mulifise, tinyangati wa tibili neshilo kumu kupira, na da kupira. Kata mbundu wale, nye ula kupira pake mrewe. Ay si, mi ndio likuwa ni kupigia. Mbona umekipia kunipigia, hajibili umenyamata sana. Na kila wakati wa unapenda kutuwa na indelea na mna gani. Imepoteza rafiki, rafiki wa karibu sana. Na siyo rafiki wangu peke, peke yake itu. Sivi, eh, alikuwa yo kiongozi wa familia ya Malala alikuwa anajaribu kuleta watu pamoja watu walipokuwa wanakosana simi na alikuwa anajaribu kuongelesha hata kama hata waleta pamoja ataongea na huyu na ongea na huyu atufai kuishi namna hii nimempoteza nimempoteza rafiki wa karibu sana lakini nataka kusema hivi ugonjwa kutibiwa kifo haitibiwi ya sibi ilikuwa ni kifo kama ingelikuwa ugonjwa angekuwa amepona na vile wengine wote wamesema E, Reman asante sana. Ulitenda yote ungeweza kutenda. Ulitenda ile Mungu anapenda. Ulitenda mapenzi ya Mungu pamoja na mke wako Florence na msitoke kweli. 
muendelee kuyatenda mema na mtabarikiwa zaidi asanteni kwenye kanisa wanakwaya wa hapa msanda wanakwaya ambao wametoka kakamega na kutoka maragoli wageni wetu wote ambao wametoka bahali mbali mbali marafiki wetu abahue abamlamua na sisi wenyewe ambao tumekufiwa ninawashukuru kwa jina la Yesu Kristo amjambo am god is good and god and uh, all the time wacha niende kwa ufupi eh, kuligana relationship yangu na kadu kadu ni mpendwa wangu my brother in law ambaye tulipendana sana mpaka nikashangaa tumependana ni ndugu yangu ama ni nini kwa vile ninakumbuka baba yangu alipokuwa mgonjwa na mama yangu nilikuwa namtuma huko na mlungu kama ndugu yangu hakuna kitu tulikuwa ananificha ama mimi namficha amenifunza mingi ya hapa msanda kuli, hata kushinda wibu bwana wangu alikuwa ananiambia hapa tunaendanga hivi watoto wana, wanatakana wafanye hivi inatakana ifanye hivi na watoto wangu walimpenda sana they were so free with my brother in law so free ya makuwa kosi kamhunya na muache mimi niseme nilie nimetembea na ee na I'm going to miss him sana I know I missed my mom, I missed my dad, but I'm going to miss him. Lakini yote ni ya Mungu, si ndio? Mungu alijua wakati wake umefika na siku za mwisho alikuwa na uchungu sana. Paka tukaona madaktari wakapita wakasema ni vitu vitatu. Tumuache araende apumuzike ni ngumu ni ngumu kuambiwa mahali tumefika hatuwezi kuongeza kitu chochote ni ngumu lakini ilibidi tukubali tukaita watoto tukaita mjane tukawaachia waumue na daktari akawaambia watoto wakaona baba yao wakasema baba ameumia sana wa kwanza alikuwa Hillary wa pili akawa wili wa tatu akawa mama akasema vile watoto wamesema wacha iwe hivyo kijana wangu pia naye alikuwa ametoka mbali Amerika Alikuwa amewasiliana na yeye mwezi wa sita akamwambia anko ninakuja. Na huyu alikuwa anataka sana akuje ili waongee na yeye. Alipokuja akamuona akamsalamia mkono na dakika chache baada ya dakika salasini akaaga. Akaaga. Sisi ambao tumebaki tunaomba mtuombe na kama kini, kuna kitu yoyote ambayo kadu alifanya ambacho akikuwapendeza tunaomba kama familia mtusamee I'm finishing na kama sisi tuliona mmetukosea tunawasamee kama wamalala 
Nasema hivyo kama mama mkubwa wa hii boma kwa vile mimi ndio ninajua nimebeba hawa na nimetembea na kadu na tulikuwa tunatembea pamoja mtuombe na huyu my brother in law alale mahali pema na shukuru unisikiza asanteni asante sana asante asante mimi naitwa Edmond Balala Mindo last born was Steven to all in the name of Jesus Christ. Good morning. My name is Reginald Wamkoya. I'm the of the late Stephen Malala and the British Consul. May God bless you all. Bonesu asifiwe. Bonesu asifiwe tena. Kwa majina naitwa Celestine Afandi. Mimi ni mtoto wa nne wa the late Stephen na nashukuru nyote ulio kusanyika hapa kutusaidia kumboleza matanga ya baba yetu asanteni Bwana Yesu asifiwe Kwa majina naitwa Melissa Malala Mimi ni mtoto wa tatu wa Steven Na mimi ni msichana mkubwa Ningependa kuwashukuru wote mlio kusanyika hapa kusimama na sisi wakati mgumu Anko Redman na Nt Florence ndashukuru pia jume mmekuwa na baba Bwana Yesu asifiwe kwa majina ni Hilary Malala na Nina mambo mengi ya kuzungumza kuhusu baba. Baba alikuwa rafiki yangu. Nimekaa naye kwa muda. E, ametufundisha, amesisitiza alikuwa anasisitiza sana kuhusu elimu, maadili na hekma. Na vile wengine wamesema alikuwa anajua masuala mengi sana kuhusu jamii na hata taifa. Na hii kwa rais ya kuambia swala fulani kwa sijui ni kwa nini lakini kwa muda ambao nimekaa na yeye kuna mambo mengi mambo mengi sana ameniambia tumepiga naye story mingi na kuna maswala mingi sana amenifundisha na kuhusu ugonjwa na matibabu yake E, dakika za mwisho mimi nilikuwa naye hospitalini na tukiwa hospitalini kila siku nikienda kumtembelea alikuwa na new information alikuwa na ujumbe geni kuniambia mm. lakini dakika ya mwisho kwa sababu mara mingi akiniambia maneno alikuwa ananiambia mambo na kuambia ifai uko unaambia ifo uko unazungumza na mtu hata usiambie mama yako lakini wakati wa mwisho kabla hajarudishwa ICU nilikuwa naye kwa hospitali na akanituma aliniambia ukirudi nyumbani ukifika kwa boma upigie ndugu zako simu uambie nitarudi nyumbani Pina akasema na usisahau pia kuambia mama yako Hiyo wakati akiniambia hiyo maneno nilijua tu ni maneno yake ya kawaida. Sikujua nilijua at, labda naona anapata nafuu. Ningawaja amerudi nyumbani lakini sio kwa hali ambayo tulikuwa tunatarajia. Na ningependa kumshukuru Uncle Redman, Auntie Florence na Auntie Florence na Auntie Kalerwa. Idadi ya watu ni wengi sasa hizitaja wote kwa majina lakini kazi yenu na bidii yenu kwa matibabu na shughuli ya baba ni ya kupigiwa mfano. E, naomba Mungu atimize mahitaji ya mioyo zenu kwa sababu ya juhudi zote za matibabu. 
Pia ningependa kushukuru kila mtu ambaye tumeshirikiana na yeye katika mazishi. Tangia baba afariki hadi sasa na nadhani ushirikiano huu wote ushirikiano wote ushirikiano huu ni zaidi hata baada ya kumzika baba isiko ushirikiano wa matanga peke yake. Pia ninashukuru kanisa na nyinyi wote ambao mmehudhuria hafla hii. Asanteni sana na Mungu atubariki. Niko na mambo kusema about baba yangu. Baba yangu alikuwa mtu ambaye alikuwa anatupenda sana. Nakumbuka jana mama yangu akisema kwa wale walikuwa hajawahi chukua kiboko kuchapa any of us. Lakini likuwa na mheshimu sana. Angeniambia kitu ningesikiza. Kumbuka jana niliambia wenye walikuwa um kansa ilikuja 2019 akatibiwa akarudi vizuri akakuja nyumbani. Lakini kansa ikaweza kurudi tena. Sasa nakumbuka the second time. Of course alikuwa na suspect kuna kitu inamsumbua. The second time akirudi Nairobi for further checkups tulikuwa tumekaa kwa my uncle na my aunt Reverend Ambalo na anti anti Florence. Kwa tumekaa hapo nje tunapiga story na baba. Then anti Florence akakuja. Aka break news akatuambia ile kansa imerudi tena na imerudi aggressively. Sasa sasa hivi najua babangu ameenda. Mimi ndo first born son. Sasa najua niko na very big shoes to fill. But I'm happy to say that niko na familia, very loving family. Both immediate family and even the extended family. Najua watatusaidia kwa hii safari ngumu. Kabla nimalizie kuna watu nataka kushukuru waliotembea na baba mpaka wakati akatuacha nataka kumshukuru uncle yangu Rebman najua mmesikia kila mtu amesimama anaangalia uncle Rebman auntie Florence mi hatutachoka kumshukuru kwa sababu kiona unasifiwa inamaanisha wewe ni mtu mzuri hizi siku za mwisho mwisho pia Tamshukuru kazini yangu masi kwa kutembea na mimi errands unajua errands hapa na pale anatembea na mimi ananisaidia hapa na pale na kushukuru pia masi uh, nitampatia mke wangu aseme kitu alafu nitafunga Bwana Yesu asifiwe uh, naitwa Shelton Mora ama Mama Jaden uh, Baba yetu hata kama amepumzika He was the best father in law. Alikuwa very strong. Every time tulikuwa tunaenda kumtembelea, hanga huyu tuonyesha ati ako in pain. Alikuwa anatupigia story. Tunaongea. Lakini tunajua he is in pain. Sijawahi ona mzee strong like my late father in law so i want to promise you mom i'll be there for you um nimesahau kushukuru ma colleagues wangu absa family for standing with me tangu baba aende asanteni sana asanteni pia nyinyi wote uh, sasa kwa wakati huu nataka nirudishe ya program kwa kanisa itafanya ile imebaki yote na niseme uh, kongoi missing na niseme erokamano na pia niseme muriomno nyasaya mlinde ni wote amjambo tena bwana yesu asifiwe uh, kwa majina naitwa Charles Kea Yesu Kristo ni mwokozi wa maisha yangu mimi ndiye padri wenu hapa msanda. Tumekuja kuomboleza pamoja na familia hii kubwa ya malala baada ya kuondokewa na rafiki yangu tuliyojuana vizuri Steven. Ningeomba kwaya mtupee wimbo na nimwalike mzee Repman kama mwenye mji asungumuze yale yako nayo. Na mwenye atafunga ushuhuda ni Mama Beatrice 
ambaye ni mke wa marehemu na tutakuwa tumemalizana na familia jambo tena nasimama hapa kama ndugu ya maremu kadu na vile nilisema juzi na jana sina mengi ya kusema kwa sababu mengi yamesemwa na hao ambao walikuja mbele yangu ingine tulisema juzi na jana kadu alikuwa rafiki yangu kadu alikuwa mtu ambaye alipendwa na watu Thibitisho hilo inaonekana leo. Kadu alikuwa mtu wa kutumwa. Sisi wote vile mlisikia watu walikuwa namtumia hapa kumtuma. Popote kuna jambo anatumwa kwenda kutatuzi, kutatiza ama kushuhudia. Mimi ndio nilikuwa namtumia hata zaidi. Mambo mengi mmesema lakini hiyo kazi yote alikuwa anafanya kwa niaba yangu ile ambayo tulikuwa nafanya na yeye bado nitaendelea na vijana wake hapa ambao wako hapa mmewaona ni watu wanakaa kama wanaweza fanya kazi vile nimeona hata mimi nitaendelea nayo alafu nitasema hivi whatever kadu alikuwa anapata kwa hizo biashara tulikuwa tunafanya na yeye zitaenda kutumikia kwa masomo ya vijana na kulisha hata mama yao Baba yetu kabla ya kufe alikuwa ametupatia ile shamba ndogo alikuwa nayo mimi nikanipatia penye nilijenga ndugu yangu katu alipewa mahali pengine hakupewa hapa lakini kwa vile baba alikufa na kadu naye akawa ndiyo mtoto wa mwisho akabaki hapo kama ningekuwa mtu mwingine ningesema kwa vile sisi wawili tuligawa nje hii pia tugawane Haswezi sema hivyo. Hii tabaki ya kadu, I mean ya watoto wa kadu. Umesikia hivyo? Basi I want to thank everybody. Uh, we cannot take anything for granted. I know that we are going to have a vote of uh, thanks. Am I uh, uh, I'm reminded my mother in law is here. Mother to mother in law to now. I know that there is an elaborate vote of thanks which will be given by Tony. Is Tony around? Anyway, it will come. Thank you very much. Ah, Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Tunashukuru mzee Repman na wote ambao umetuongoza wakasungumuza. Tena ni Mungu ni waajabu. Ni waletee mama Beatrice uh, tusungumuzie machache kuhusu mpendwa wake. Kwaya mkona wimbo wa mabato mmesika. Waombolezaji wote kutoka sehemu mbalimbali ninawasalimu katika jina la Yesu. Hamjambo. Hamjambo tena. Mirembeja Steven. Mirembeja Kadu. Mirembeja Anko. Kwa mlanga anga Mungu baba basi kwa mlanga irirata. Mirembeja bababa mrio mno wacha nichukue nafasi hii nishukuru kanisa langu la SK tangu mume wangu aanze kuugua 
2019 wamesimama na mimi wamekuwa msaada kwangu wamenifanya niwe jinsi nilivyo na washukuru sana nasema asanteni nitanena machache kuhusu mume wangu watu wengi wamenena mengi yako kwenye vitabu mmeyasoma Mume wangu Steven tulipatana 20 tulipatana na enee 1989 akiwa Nairobi mimi nikiwa Nairobi Tumekaa naye hapa nyumbani Tumeishi kwa upendo Mume wangu amekuwa na afya yake nzuri Kufikia 2019 mwezi wa 4 alisikia mwili wake kama hauko sawa ilianza kama homa na ikaendelea ikawa ugonjwa mkubwa nilikuwa hapa nyumbani tarehe 17 nilipata simu kutoka kwa mama Florence alisema jambo moja panda ukuje Nilipokuwa najitayarisha shemeji yangu pia alinipigia simu. Nilishtuka kwa sababu shemeji tunampa heshima kama baba sio rais. Nilishtuka sana. Nilitoka hapa hiyo tarehe 17 jioni nikafika Nairobi nilipofika Nairobi tarehe 18 asubuhi Mama Florence alisema pita kwa hospitali tukutane huko Nilisema ah kila mara nikitoka hapa nikienda kumuona mume wangu huwa naenda nyumbani nikunywe chai nioge ndo tutoke naye tukuje kwa hospitali Mbona leo amesema nipite kwa hospitali Nilijikaza Nikafika kwa hospitali kabla nifike kwa hospitali njia zilinipotea za kufika kwa hospitali kwa najaribu hii barabara najaribu hii najaribu hii nilipigia mtoto wangu wili nikamwambia njoo unichukue sioni njia alikuja akanichukua tukaenda na kwa hospitali tulipofika pale Florence aliingia na wengine uso yake haikukua ya furaha vile ndio tunakuanga na mgonjwa lakini alikuwa tofauti Alisema kabla tuingie daktari alisema anataka kuongea na sisi. Daktari walikuja tuliingia kwa room, madaktari waliingia. Walianza kuongea na sisi. Lakini yale walikuwa wanaongea na sisi yalikuwa ya uzuni. Ilibidi tukubali. Walipatia ruhusa tukaenda tukamuona Steven. Nilipata Steven amewekwa kwa oxygen. Nilipata Steven kama hawezi ongea. Amefunga macho. Nilimuita. Bababa. Ba. Hakusema kitu. Bababa ba. alinyamaza. Bababa ba. aliniangalia na akafunga macho tena Tulikaa pale kwa uchungu mwingi kama hatuna la kumsaidia Baadaye daktari tuomba tuondoke tuliondoka tulienda nyumbani Ilipofika saa kumi, Mama Florence aliniambia turudi kwa hospitali twende tuone mgonjwa tena Nikasema ilikuwa twende kesho tena ni saa hii Nikasema twende Tulipofika pale tulipatana watu wengi wa familia ya Malala pale. Nikasema tena watu wengi. Waliturusu tukaingia ndani tulipata Steven a a hapana. Tukakaa pale kidogo daktari akatuambia bibi mtoke nje kidogo. Tulitoka nje. Baada ya dakika tano daktari alirudisha ndani kujeni. Kabla tuende kumuona Steven atupeleka kwa ile elimu yenye alitupeleka 
alituambia wenye walikuwa hapa asubuhi niliwaelezea inafaa muwe muelezea wengine ilipofika saa mbili na dakika msini, Steven alikata roho yake ilikuwa uchungu ilikuwa uchungu na muachilia Steven akaende akakae na bwana binguni siku yangu ikifika nitaenda tutakutana na yeye huko wacha nichukue hii nafasi nishukuru wote wenye wamefika hapa kwa siku ya leo kunisaidia kuomboleza mume wangu mpendwa Steven nasema ni asante sana kwa kuacha kazi zenu kufika hapa nichukue hii nafasi kuwashukuru wote wa familia ya Malala wenye wako hapa nyumbani nilipokuwa naenda Nairobi kumwangalia mume wangu walikuwa wamebaki nyuma kuniangalilia watoto na boma nasema asanteni sana kwa madada wa mume wangu nichukue nafasi hii tena kumshukuru Florence mwaliko wanje kuchaka nyanga ino sori mwaliko wanje tawe uri mama wanje uriyo mno yabugula Steven shingo mwana uwe ameshugulika na Steven pakubwa ametembea na Steven pakubwa ikizidi sana mimi ndio nilikuwa naenda tu huko lakini yeye ndiye ameshugulika na Steven yenda amejaribu kutafuta madaktari kila aina dawa kila aina hata Steven alipoaga tuliporudi kwa nyumba alitoa kwa rumu ya Steven madawa bishini mbili amejaribu kila dawa yenye daktari alikuwa anahitaji nasema Florence asante sana Mungu akubariki na uendelee na huo moyo na kuzidi tuzidi kukaa pamoja vile tulikuwa tunakaa pamoja kama Steven bado yuko nichukue nafasi ingine kumshukuru shemeji yangu Rebman asante sana kwa kazi mzuri Asante sana kwa kujitolea usiku na mchana kutafuta pesa za kutibu mume wangu Steven. Kama pesa zingekuwa zinaponyesha mtu mume wangu hangekufa. Angeamka. Amejaribu juu chini. Hakuna dawa hatukununua. Na ni kwa sababu ya yeye. Ninamshukuru sana. Nasema ni asante. Sina cha kukupa. Lakini Mungu aliye juu mbinguni anajua atakulinda atakuongezea zaidi atabariki hata watoto wako. Nasema ni asanti kuanzia leo wewe pia ni baba yangu. Ya mwisho wacha ni shukuru watu kutoka Maragoli. Asanteni sana kwa kusimama na mimi. Asanteni sana kwa yote. Mungu awabariki kwa wote nasema asanteni nikimalizia mimi nimeorokoka na ningali nampenda Yesu kama mwokozi wa maisha yangu kwa hivyo maisha yangu mimi namwachia Yesu wacha akanilinde akanitawale akanionyeshe njia kikubwa akanipatia akili na hekima asanteni sana Baba Mwenyezi Mungu tena tunakuja mbele yako. Tumeleta mtumishi wako anataka kutua, kutuongoza kwa neno la ambao umempatia hasa wakati huu ambao tuko na msiba ya kupoteza na mmoja wetu. Naomba kwamba umbariki yale ambayo anatasema itoke kwake, itoke kwako na yeye baraka kwa kila mmoja wetu. Naomba katika jina la Yesu Kristo mwokozi wetu. Amen. Amen. Upendo ule ule wa msalaba ndio upendo ambao nataka tumwambie mama Mungu huyo Yesu huyo ampende apende familia yake hasa roho yake ipate nguvu tunapomlaza mpendwa Yes si rais ni ngumu lakini tunapomtazama ule msalaba wa Yesu tupate nguvu 
na atarudi tena neno la kutia moyo sisi na jamii hii kwa ujumla ni hii mfano wake kwa sisi wengi mfano wa marehemu na mama na familia kwa sisi wengi isendo mcheni embreranga ne venengo baburi kama mkristo kamili wakofu wake kuchipeana kwake kwa kanisa sasa ni mshindi wa Kristo Yesu haleluya biblia yasema wazi wazi hivi wale wa ambao wamefunguliwa hapa duniani wamefunguliwa huko mbinguni yale ambayo tumesema na tunaendelea kusema sisi kama kanisa sasa nasema tumemfungua mama petrus umwisa huo tunamfungua aenda urithi ufalme wa mbinguni asanti kila mmoja kukuja asanti kwa mchango wa kila mmoja wetu Asante kwa kulinda imani yako. Asante kwa kutetea Yesu. Asante kwa kubeba msalaba. Hiyo taa ila sumatao. Ikienda nje irio. Lero luno nende tindalo chusi. Amen. katika jina la Yesu tazama wakati huu ambao tunasherekea maisha ambayo ulitupatia pamoja na Steven alipokuwa bado anaishi hapa duniani nimekupendeza ya kwamba aje apumzike kwako kwa hivyo sisi letu ni kusema tu ni asante jinsi umetukumbusha katika Biblia ya kwamba kila jambo katika kila jambo tuwe tukisema ni asante tunaomba bwana uweze kufariji familia wafunike na mkanda wako Jehova wapatie nguvu ili bwana wasiweze kuzidiwa na majonzi yao Mungu wetu tunaomba uweze kuwafunika na damu ya Yesu Kristo tazama hata mama uweze kufunika chini ya uvuli wako mpatie nguvu wako Jehova ili aweze kulea watoto ambao wamebaki na ni katika jina safi la Yesu Kristo tunaomba na kuamini amen ufufuo na uhai anayeniamini mimi hata kama anakufa ataishi na kila anayeishi na kuniamini hata kufa kamwe maana Mwenyezi Mungu alitupea Steven 
na Mwenyezi Mungu amemchukua Steven na jina la Mwenyezi Mungu likasifiwe Najua wazi mkombozi wangu anaishi Mwisho yeye atanipa haki yangu hapa hapa duniani na baada ya ngozi yangu kuharibiwa hivyo nitamuona Mungu kwa macho yangu mwenyewe mimi mwenyewe nitakutana naye mimi mwenyewe na si mwingine nitamuona kwa macho kuleta kitu chochote hapa duniani wala hatutachukua chochote maana mshindi atavii kwa hivyo kwa mavazi meupe na msitalifuta jina lake kutoka katika kitabu cha uhai tena nitamkiri kwamba ni wangu mbele ya baba yangu na mbele ya malaika wake Baba uishie milele. 